the first time the AIIB has welcomed new applications, including five regional and eight non-regional prospective members. Unsurprisingly, Hong Kong SAR is in, as are Afghanistan, Armenia, Fiji and Timor-Leste. Canada is now the first North American country to get on board. In Europe, Belgium, Hungary and Ireland have chosen to join, as have Peru, Sudan, Venezuela and Ethiopia. Some of them could be joining because they want to be part of the conversation that's happening over here in Asia. Uh, you know, this is a, a growth region, um, it's an exciting region, and so some of those countries, they want to be part of the development discussion. Um, for other ones, they see trade opportunities. Uh, and it is within our Articles of Agreement, uh, and it's not going to happen in the immediate future, but we could uh, approve loans in countries outside the region if there is an immediate economic or an obvious economic benefit to Asia. And so some of those countries could be looking at it for those reasons. These 13 countries and regions will officially join the AIIB once they complete the required domestic processes and deposit the first installment of capital with the bank. Their shares will come from the bank's existing pool of unallocated shares. In 2016, in its first year of operations, the bank approved 1.73 billion U.S. dollars in loans to finance nine projects covering energy, transportation and urban development, many of which are along the Belt and Road. If there are projects that are part of One Belt, One Road that make sense, that meet our standards for financial viability, environmental sensitivity, and our mandate to improve social and economic development in Asia, we'll absolutely be considering those for, uh, for funding. The AIB is a new multilateral financial institution which was founded to bring countries together to address infrastructure needs across Asia. The capital of the bank is 100 billion US dollars equivalent to two-thirds of the capital of the Asian Development Bank and about half that of the World Bank. Wang Hongxuan, CDTN, Beijing.